Hello guys, and welcome back to some more of the Sport Completionist Let's Play series. In the last episode, we'd finally finished the travel stage by backstabbing all of our previous alliances. You know, as one does in Spore. <laughs> and today we'll be moving on to the Civilization stage. And before we do that, I do want to check out what achievements that we actually require, just in case there's any like prior prep that we're going to do in the tribal stage. I doubt there is, but it can't hurt to check. So first of all, there's the obvious ones, such as the Adamantium Civilization Tribe, or... No, achievement. <laughs> you know what I mean by that. I'll be doing that regardless, but I have it anyway. Uh, Civilization Stage Unlocked. Got that one too. So what else is there? Right. Go ahead and scroll down here as well. So we've got both of them on screen. So, Starman. We have that one. Economist. Got that one. Military Strongman. We have that one. Missionary. Yep. Spite Order. Yep. Relentless. Yes. <laughs> Rolling Thunder. Yep. Ghetto Blaster. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I didn't think I had that one. And... Okay, two more. Conclusion and Fear of Flying. Okay, I actually think that, uh, you know how I've been saying the last few episodes about how uh, I have done a lot of these achievements in the past, but for whatever reason I've not saved and carried through? I feel like all our Civilizations one does, but I did not do Ghetto Blaster. <laughs> I've absolutely not done that one anytime recently, not since. You know, I actually did this a long time ago, so I'm actually quite relieved about that. So it turns out we have no achievement that we need to get in this, so we are free to just play it how we want and just speed through it. Your tribe now dominates this continent, ready to advance from a simple village life to civilized city living ahead of the rest. Yeah, too bad that civilized city living can be quite depressing at times, eh? <laughs> right, so for the building, I'm not really fancying anything that like particularly extravagant since I do feel like we've been kind of lingering on the campaign stages for quite a while now, in my opinion anyway, like I, when uh, we finished the tribal one I got a couple of like oh yeah you finally did it and it's finally that kind of made me think am I taking my time a little bit too much here? I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, oh and also I made a mistake in the past of spending <laughs> all of my time in these campaign episodes just purely building. So I'm just going to go ahead and whip up some qu some um, quaint, little, quaint little castle building. And by the way, I apologise if my voice or my speaking is a little bit off today. I think I may be coming down with a cold. In fact, I think we both are. <laughs> but I'll try to speak as clearly as I can. Just, um, you know, just a heads up if I sound a little bit off today. Right, go ahead, put one there, put one there. Let's get some little castle. Oh, actually, let's get one of these up. Can we do like one each side? We can. Actually, no. I'll do it like that in the middle there. Somewhat. Come on, right there. Yeah, that works. And another one pointing in the opposite direction, like, oh, not like that, like that. Cool. Uh, anything else? We may as well put one of these up here. I mean, it looks like to be put up there. Well, not really, <laughs> but somewhat. And just get some little fences going on here. I can't. I need a foundation to put those on. Okay. In that case, go ahead and use that. Make that really, oh, no, not that. Make that really small, put it. Oh, I can't move it underground. Uh, okay, that's fine. In that case, that should probably do us. I'll go ahead and give these guys like a back entrance as well. Oh. Oh, okay. Instead, I'm going to move that to the back. Like so. And this one could be up here. It's just, you know, like a proper drawbridge kind of thing going on. How is that? Uh, oh, wow, that looks, that looks way cooler. That's just going to be the height and that's going to be the width, right? Okay, so this one here is the only special one. I like that. That's, um... That's brilliant. <laughs> as in that little entrance there, I think, that's, I think that's, uh, that suits it quite well, what I was going for. And now for the textures. And like I said, I don't really want to hover around on this for too long. I can always come back later and, you know, refine it. Um, is there not, like, any castle-y kind of things? A lot of, like, like very industrial mechanical stuff. Uh, let me see. I feel like one of the earlier ones we had were probably the uh, better suiting ones. That looks interesting. What was that? I think it was this one that we saw. Mm. Or that one. Uh, oh wow, that looks funky. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to go for this one then. This one actually took my interest. It's not brilliant, <laughs> but it has... The one thing I've been trying to do with my buildings here is uh, actually... I'm not really going to bother with the fancy name, I'm just going to call it the City Hall. And I'm going to GA prop this. There we go, cool. 
yeah, I was going to say, when it comes to my buildings and such for the um, for these campaign episodes, I like to try and give them like a bit of an extra colouring. It might not be the most realistic thing in the world, but it's sport, you know, and I want to at least somewhat reflect the creature. That is a really, really rapey face on that chieftain. That's just disturbing. <laughs> but I still love how it's just like how all of these guys have the weapon in one hand and a shield in the other. Oh, except for the torch dudes, they don't. Okay, well, the spear dudes and the chieftain. I love how they got like uh, the jewel wielding at the moment. <laughs> I absolutely love how that came out. Completely unintentional, but completely worth it. Yay! Happy fireworks! You are about to enter civilization. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, the vehicle. Right, uh, for the vehicle, you guys probably remember me doing this in the uh, previous... I know I did it in season 1, I'm not sure about season 2, I probably did. But, I always try to go for like something just silly and fast and ridiculous. That way, if I can start off with like, a really, really fast fast um, vehicle, I can nab all of the uh, spice gates at the very beginning before any other tribe or city, technically, um, spawns. And I'll have like immediate control of my content. So this is going to look like absolute rubbish. But it really doesn't need to be anything amazing, it just needs to be fast. I may as well make it look... For, for the rubbish I'm going for, I may as well make it look cartoony. <laughs> right, I think 82% squeeze can be more than enough. Absolutely zero economic power though, that's, that's fine. Let's make it, yeah, the absolute cartoony that we can go for. Uh, oh, oh, actually, I like that. Damn, we'll call it the... We'll call it Speedy Boy. <laughs> The age of technology and transportation has arrived. Your city is the first to appear on the planet, but your species no longer speaks with a single voice. Soon, other cities will arise, built by factions of your own species. You must unify to advance. And by unify, you mean absolutely conquer the living crap out of all of them. <laughs> right, let's go ahead then and grab all the vehicles that we can. The game is currently paused, so I have time to spare. Go ahead and send that one over there. One here. One more over here. And one more all the way up there. Now, are we in like a one large single continent? No, it doesn't look like it. It just it looks like it on the map. But no, we are actually on a three, no, two different continents. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, I may have missed one. Those other cities are spawning incredibly fast. Okay, then. Uh, right, in that case, <laughs> you finished the space ga Spice Gator. You go ahead and get, I think, that one I missed out. Uh, I need to keep an eye on this, actually. They spawned. Oh, in fact, I didn't even realise I'm on top of a bloody sea thing. Ah, never mind. I'm gonna lose that. Actually, nah, nah, let's not give up. I didn't realise I was right next to a, um, I had a seaport. So once again, then I'm gonna go for like a very speedy, speedy thing. Let's go for this again. Let's just go for like the same thing all over again. <laughs> uh, what's it? I think it was this one I used. We'll call this one Speedy Boy as well. Only this time, this speedy boy will have like all of these um, rafts and such. Put that one there. Let's get a bunch of those, those, and those. You are again at 82%. We really are a true speedy boy. And can we go for the same colour scheme? We can indeed. Speedy boy. Speedy boy boat. There you go. Right then. Now, the very moment I can afford it, I'm going to go ahead and buy one. I do believe I have everything out getting all these spice cases. No, actually, I missed the yellow one. Right, I did miss one of them. That's fine. That should be fine. Uh, the purple one just outside the space stocks is getting that one. I'm not really producing the money as quickly as I hoped. Hmm. 
In fact, I lost that red one as well. Wow, that plan completely backfired. I swear, guys, that normally, normally works without fail. If you pause the game and immediately send all of your vehicles out instantly, like upon starting and pausing, normally <laughs> you get them all, but no, apparently, apparently not this time. Weird. Like, even on hard difficulty, that's actually probably the first time I have that, I've had that fail. But not a problem. Not a problem. We go ahead and make some kind of rudimentary building of some description. A, uh, what's this? A house? It's a house. This house could have a nice grand entrance such as this. And what else? We have like, in fact, this could be like a little cluster of housing. There you go. Kind of like that. Unintentionally looking the exact same <laughs> as the uh, city hall. Oh, something like that. Let's go ahead and put down, I don't know, like a lamppost in front. Like so. Make it, oh, no, not that. Make it nice and tall. Oh, that looks, looks interesting, actually. <laughs> and a little well in the front. A little wishing well. Ah, maybe not then. Put down some uh, flowers. There you go. Some, some nice, nice pretty flowers. There you go. How quaint. Uh, and let's go ahead and go with the same colour scheme as the rest of the things, which I think was this one. It looks kind of meh. Hmm. Not sure I like that, actually. It's the same colour scheme I used for the City Hall, but I'm not sure I am liking it. I quite like that one, though. That one looks a lot more... I'm trying to think. Modest, I guess. Go ahead and grab that one to get our... Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Get our entertainment next. And for the entertainment, I want... <laughs> perhaps something ridiculous like this. I'll tell you what, when I was younger, I used to love using like this variety of buildings far too much. I mean, are, are you surprised though? Like, going by <laughs> my bloody channel name, Dark Edge, and I went for like all the edgy things. Bloody hell. I really was a freaking stereotype when I was younger. <laughs> oh dear, we all have our moments though. The joys of growing up, eh guys? The joys of growing up. <laughs> it's actually starting to look like a creature, come to think of it. Um, maybe I can make it like look like some kind of creature. Let's go ahead then, let's like, like, give it some fangs. Ah, uh, like these. Uh, right, can I turn it all over the place? Let's do that instead. So we've got like the one big awkward looking middle fang at the bottom jaw. Have uh, some big canines. It's really hard to actually rotate these around. Come on, like that. Okay, cool. Go ahead and alt shift that so it moves along the plane. It didn't work, never mind. Oh, god. I forgot you could do that. And put that there. I suppose it doesn't have to be perfect. I need to stop like worrying about symmetry and all that kind of stuff. Do that there and that there. One of these. Oh, not that. Like that. I like that. <laughs> so this is going to be quite an interesting little house of entertainment, isn't it? I'm not sure I'd call it entertainment currently. Um, give it some nice big window eyes. Actually, how's that going to look? Oh, that looks creepy. Good. <laughs> oh, that looks really creepy. What the hell? Yeah, like that. Like that. I like the look of that. <laughs> Definitely a very good little house of entertainment, isn't it? Let's go ahead and put some... A viking horn. What does that look like? That looks interesting. That could be his tongue. There you go, mate. You have a, you have a lovely little tongue now, don't you? Does that animate? It does. Oh, that does not animate very nicely. Um, <laughs> oh, actually, hmm. I was thinking of putting one of these in the mouth instead, but I'm not sure I want to. Ah, let's give it a go anyway. The little puffer. Oh god. This does, this does not look very good. Um, as in... Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I, I'm not liking that. <laughs> I am, I am not liking that at all. That's going to weird places. Right then, let's go ahead and finish off this building then. Let's uh, just put down something so that the top of the head is like connected to the rest of the body. It's, at the moment, I don't like the way it's just floating. It looks uh, really weird. 
There we go. Something like that. That's 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 good enough, <laughs> I guess. And let's give it some I don't know, opposing colour scheme? That okay, that's not what I was going for, but I actually like that in some weird way. I actually kinda like that. Okay then. Entertainment uh entertainment entertaining. The entertaining more. There you go. <laughs> it's a pub. We'll just call it like some kind of nightclub. And then the factory itself. Uh right. So the factory. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the factory, factory. Let's make it more thorny. Thorny thorns kind of stuff. To get this. Actually, let's get this weird looking thing instead. I don't even know what that's meant to be. That's a really weird, whatever that is. It gets. I don't know, it's been like that. It's kind of like a. a really. angry looking. um. pineapple so far. An angry looking pineapple. That's a fantastic description, Rebecca. Well done. <laughs> and let's just chuck some of these things on top of it, shall we? Uh, is that where I want it? Nah, let's put that one back here instead. Okay, yeah, it looks like an experimental potato pineapple. And since we have all that, we may as well put something on the top. Like that, maybe? Yes, perfect. Alright then. And can I make it look like some kind of vegetable fruit? Oh, that. See, okay, now this is making me think of like some weird alien fruits in some fantasy land that's been experimented on. Like, I can see this in like some bloody Disney cartoon. <laughs> um, Jesus. Experimental pear. There you go. We've changed it. We've, we've stepped it up a notch. It's no longer the pineapple or the potato. It's the experimental pear. Can I afford anything right now? Entertainment. I may as well chuck one down. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and save the game since... I don't know about you guys. I don't normally... Well, I don't ever crash in the civilization stage. I don't think I ever have. But if I were to crash, I'd be kind of gutted if I crashed and lost, you know, like three buildings and two vehicles. Or four buildings, in fact, two vehicles. That would just be like a huge pain in the ass. Right. I cannot afford any sea vehicles at all, so it looks like I am out of luck for the uh, one down there. And probably the one over here as well. But that should be fine. What are you doing, mate? You're still doing things. Oh, you're there. Okay, no wonder. Right, in that case, you come all the way over here. Right. You, sirs, over here. Let us be friends. I want to contact you. I want to admire your wide tract of land. I also propose a trade route. You, good sir. I wish to admire your wide tract of land and I wish to propose a trade route. You, good sir. You're not liking me quite as much as the others, but still. I admire- Oh, my mouse. Mouse, please. I admire your wide tract of land and I wish to propose a trade route. Are you seeing a pattern here? I think I might be. I actually really like playing a Civilization Stage on a hard difficulty. Sweet. As economic as in my experience so far. Economic has been by far the easiest way to complete the um, civilization stage on difficult level or hard difficulty. I have tried to do it in the past as uh, both. Oh, that's what, what am I doing? There you go. I have tried to do it in the, in the past as uh, both. Um, what do you call it? Religious and military, and both times it horribly backfired, like really badly backfired. And I know I'm not going for the most optimal routes, I really just, I, I don't care. <laughs> I just simply do not care. I will have to do that though, it was a little bit too um, unopted. Right, one thing I did actually just remember that I've been forgetting. And that is another thing that I normally do at the beginning of my tribal, uh, no, my civilization stages. I tend to get a vehicle and plow through any tribes I see. I've not done that this time, I'd completely forgotten. Uh, right, where is it? Oh, okay, there's one over here. You. Actually, let's get a new vehicle for this. Okay, you, good sir. Let's go ahead and bring you over here. And maybe we'll get like some more money or something. You can tell I'm, I've got a bit of a cold when I forget the obvious things like this. The, th the things I've been doing constantly. I got a military vehicle. Alright. 
Well, that's something. I don't really want a military vehicle, but hey, I won't say no to it. Is there any other tribes that I can just, you know, casually smash into their um, village with? No, it does not look like it. Okay, no problems. In that case, you, my good sir, you go trade with them some more. And uh, yeah, at this point, we're pretty much going to be sitting back and just making lots and lots of money. Oh, wait, no. I do want two Z vehicles. That way, I can go and talk to you guys over here. I want to contact you. I admire your wide tract of land, and I wish to propose a trade route. Is there any other... Oh, sweet. Is there any other seafaring cities that I can contact? These guys over here. Good. Right then. Come to you and admire your wide tract of land. So what is this then? Static bombs. Build temporarily immobilize vehicles, turrets and buildings. I don't think I'll be needing that for a while. I want to avoid uh, as much combat as I can. Cool. Alright then. Got plenty of housing. And yeah, from this point on, it's pretty much just waiting and uh, doing stuff. I have a lot of trade routes. And this abundance of trade routes not only means I have like more and more opportunities to buy out other cities and expand my empire, or my uh, my nation in this case, but it also means I'm going to be producing a very large and consistent amount of money. And as you guys have all seen in the past, the civilization stage is incredibly, stupidly easy to just roll over if you're rich. Having money beats the civilization stage. It's kind of interesting, really. You know, you can't you can kind of see some parallels about that with uh, real life. <laughs> you know, the more money you have, the more success and power you gain. Well done, Spore. Well done. Can I put up there? It's going to be a little bit redundant, but that's fine. Put one here as well. That's going to be very redundant, in fact. Uh, but I don't care. I do not care. I'll check that there, though. Actually, I can't really put it there now, can I? Uh, let me think. Oh, I'll just leave it be for a moment then. Oh, uh, you found- We have pondered your offer deeply, but you found it lacking. No. Well, that is very mean, isn't it? How about some money to switch out the deal with? Let's give me 2k. And then let's go ahead and attempt to trade route again. Oh, you're growing, that's why. Oh dear. Ah, uh, right. So, of course, the two nations that don't like me are the ones that are uh, prospering. Typical. Come on, mate. Let's try again. You. Move around. Move around. And come back. Now, one thing I probably should do with quite soon is upgrading my vehicles from... Yeah, let's pay that alliance. Good. Okay, it works. It's so one thing that we'll probably get to do quite soon then is to upgrade our vehicles from the Speedy Boys to... Uh, like, actually... <laughs> Um, what's well, actually transferring more assets and such. I'll probably be doing that in the next episode as I can see that we are kind of running out of time. Let's see then, if before we finish off we can at least purchase one city. I do need to go ahead and talk to these guys over here since they bought out, the Yellow Nation bought out whoever I was trading with over here, which means I've lost my previous trade routes and therefore, oh, we do not need to trade with trifling civilizations such as yourselves, no. Okay, well screw everything I was saying there, they don't want to trade anyway. We have 6k gold. Gold, no. Um, sport bucks. Let's buy them with 2k and see if that's enough. Right, let's propose another trade route. And there you go, just like that. Just like I was saying, guys. Money wins the stage. It, it truly is a parallel of bloody real life, isn't it? The more money you have, the more influence and power and property and blah blah blah. I'm upset that you're trading with Red Nation, we insist that you stop immediately. Nah, have money. <laughs> Money, 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 money. Cool. Right then. You broke a deal? Wait, how did I break a deal? Eh, just... Wait, ha have money. There you go. And now we're back in the positive. It really is that, that easy. Like The civilization stage is economic. Even on hard difficulty, this stage is an absolute joke. So while I have all of them on the go, I haven't even finished building my city. Like, put that into perspective. Uh, right, so let's go ahead then. Again, I'm not really worried about having like an optimal setup. I'm just chucking things down. Go ahead and put that there. Put a factory and an entertainment. That way I have at least one happiness. 
So I'm gonna get um, they're gonna celebrate and all that kind of stuff. Gonna double my profits, and I still have a lot of income coming in, and that's from one city. The very moment that I purchase another one, it'll be an entirely different deal. Speaking of purchasing other ones, it looks like that the ones I had dealt with. Oh no, actually, I was going to say the ones that I was trading with have all kind of been uh, taken out. This one over here that I can buy, I would probably want to do it with a bit more gold first. Okay, a lot more gold. This is a big city. Uh, never mind. This is a... Actually, no, it's a small one. I might have to purchase that one quite quickly. Hmm. We upset that you're trading with the other nation. We insist that you stop immediately. No, have 4k. Do you still hate me? You don't. Good. And in fact, mate, just because, you know, we're really good friends and everything, have another 4k. Uh, I was going to do it again, but I just remembered that they do often, like, come up with you requesting fealty and, you know... Bribes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna save like at least a little bit of money that way if any of them do demand money I at least have enough. Yellow Nation's getting quite angry Okay, you have some money There you go. Drop at ah, Whoa, actually you're on zero There you go. I want them all to be in the positive. Blue Nation I haven't even interacted with yet, so I'm fine by that. In fact uh, Our people admire your white tracts of land Now we're at least neutral like absolute neutral but I think that'll probably be it for today. Although, all of my vehicles have actually just stopped trading. Okay, that's not very good. You go over here. You go over here. Uh, Red Nation, we're still trading. Good. Uh, you two ships go over here, if you'll let me. There you go. Ah, Yellow Nation, I'm not very impressed by me. Damn it! Yellow Nation! Get out, stick out your ass, let's be friends! Okay, let's try again then. Let's just send all of them to this one, I don't care. Actually, no, I'd rather send them all to this one so it's a bit more profitable. Come on, Yellow Nation! Let's be the best buddies before you do that, we'll give you a bit more money. Let's be buddies. There you go. Just as easy as that. Right. And I should be getting a lot of income from that. In the next episode, I will go ahead and upgrade on my speedy boys so that they're more like a... I don't know, cargo boys. <laughs> but I think that's going to have to be enough, enough for this one. Uh, yeah, there you go. See, Yellow Nation, you and I, we're going to become best friends. You, know, you hate me for now. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just keep throwing money your way and now we're friends again. And as soon as I can, I'm going to purchase that city immediately. But I'm gonna do it at a safe dis at a uh, safe amount, probably about 16k, maybe 24. I have to wait and see. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, I know it may be a little bit fast paced, but let's be fair, we've already done everything that we need to achieve wise anyway. So I just want to plow through this and immediately start the space stage as quickly as I can, and that way we get to like the actual bulk of the series, if you will. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'm getting threatened once again. I really hate these guys. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Take care.